Welcome to the future of jetpacks and hoverboards. Introducing the Flyboard Air, the big brother to the jet ski water version. In 2016, Zapata Industries, the makers of the Flyboard Air, achieved its proof of concept milestone by producing the safest, most reliable, lightest, fastest and least expensive personal flight system ever created with the unveiling of the Flyboard Air. The device uses an independent propulsion unit and can fly for about 10 minutes at top speed of 93 miles per hour and can fly up to 10,000 feet. Any higher and the pilot is required to use an oxygen mask to keep conscious. It is powered by four engines of 250 horsepower each with two side mounted engines to prevent spinning. The flyboard rider can control the direction of the board with their feet. However, a logic system is built into the board to assist the flyer with stabilization. The flyer also wears a backpack full of kerosene jet fuel to give them 10 minutes of flight time. Zapata Industries used the flyboard air to set a Guinness World Record for the farthest hoverboard flight after riding it for a distance of 2,252 meters along the coast of southern France. As fun and as simple as it looks to use and fly, the developers of the board claim it would be impossible to pilot a flyboard air without at least 50 to 100 hours of experience using the original flyboard water version, which is a similar unit attached to a jet ski and used in the water. Even though they created both the flyboard air and water units and have extensive experience, they tested the air unit over water in case they crashed. Due to the device's compact size and affordability, Zapata Industries recently announced the signing of a letter of intent for purchase by Implant Sciences, a US military firm, with the plans to develop various combat units that can fly in supplies or a similar unit soldiers can use to fly around the battlefield. Zapata Industries caught the attention of the FAA due to the complaints of the unit being flown over populated areas. A spokesperson for the FAA stated the following, the device or operator did not have an FAA issued experimental aircraft certificate, which is required for an experimental aircraft. Being it is a brand new piece of technology and is now on the radar of the FAA, pun intended, who knows, maybe in the future we will need a pilot's license to fly one and have to submit a flight plan before flying. Once the government gets involved, all the fun will get sucked out of it. But not even the red tape of bureaucrats can stop us dreaming of a future of zipping about with jetpacks, or in this case, jet boards. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.